So, new hair. Yep, it's um definitely something that takes getting used to. This is a chill out video. So, I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm gonna go in with fix. Um, I already know what I'm doing for my eyes. I'm not so sure about my face. So, let's see. It just gives you like a really really clear new base so you can really put any color on and the darker you are the brighter it's gonna be naturally um any extras i just drag it down first i'm gonna set my eyeshadow base with my jane iredale press powder just gonna set it first sometimes i don't set sometimes i do depending on like what i feel i recently did a prom makeup the foundation oxidized not that bad but it did and i wasn't happy with it even though my client was even in the aftermath and shit i just want to test it out myself by lightening it and see if it will oxidize to my actual skin tone if that makes sense because when i bought this it was perfect like perfect for my skin tone but then it would oxidize quite quite tan i'm just quickly giving my blending brush from sephora a quick sweep i always use this daily brush cleaner to clean my brushes before and after the nozzle is really weird there's like it leaks so um i'm actually gonna go in with my this is like a limited edition laguna bronzer size palette it's pretty big i got it a couple years ago in thailand not more than a couple it's pretty huge and it comes with their famous like brush as well and in mini size i'm gonna use this as my transition shade today's eye look is gonna be like pretty golden and bronzy It's a decent shade. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I just wanna deepen my eye socket. But I will add a darker brown to like darken up the look. And on camera, it's, I don't know how well it's translating. I can see it pretty well here. So the Laguna bronzer, like the original one, before they came out with the matte ones, it's quite glittery and shimmery. So to keep with that theme, I'm gonna go in with this like Bizu eyeshadow quad. It's a Korean lime. I got this as a birthday gift so long ago. And it has a shimmery dark brown in there. So I'm going to use that in the outer eye, corner of my eyes. So I just grabbed this random pencil brush. I'm going to start at the end of my eyes and drag it up. Because if it's an eyeliner, that's how I realize it works for me. Because if I just start right here, like I don't know how to continue with the blending and the placement. It's just all weird. So I'm just going to draw it in like an eyeliner. I'm going to focus it just on the outer V, like a C, kind of. took me so long to figure <laughs> this out. You want to drag it out too, because you want to elongate your eye shape. So drag it out like an eyeliner, and then blend it inside. It's like I just discovered how to do my own eyes just now. And of course, you will go back to blend this together with the transition shade that you use. Now I'm going to go back in with the same blending brush. With whatever is kind of left over, I'm just going to blend it into the crease but keeping it in the outer and halfway as for now i'm going to go in with the lid color i'm going to do two or three this was a gift to me from lady duchess Estacia goodwin she is actually my nail technician shout out to sparkle sf she gave me this pat mcgrath labs gold series 05 cream oh my goodness like it's my first pat mcgrath product thank you so much Estacia, for giving this to me I would have never been able to afford this myself. Like, I don't want to use too much of it, so I'm just going to dab my finger. I'm not going to, like, drag it because it's quite pigmented. This is just, like, me tapping into the pan. So I'm just going to go on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. I'm barely putting any pressure on because I want to slowly build it into the inner corner of my eye. Also, like, when you use your fingers, I just feel like it's a lot more, like, a natural application. You, That's what you get, the payoff. I'm just um, layering it a little bit more because I feel like this one is brighter than this one. On camera, it's not picking up that much. But I'm going to actually top it with uh, a lighter gold. This Beauty Crop Trio I got from, like, uh, an Ipsy bag. No, not Ipsy. Box. It has a highlight in vanilla latte. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna use my finger as well. Use the same finger so that the colors kind of blend together. Okay, yeah, this is kind of like what I wanted. More with champagne gold. So that was just like the cream to kind of give it a base. And this is just the powder for it to hang on to a little bit more. I'm gonna tight line really quickly. I'm using Bare Minerals. This was a gift from 
Dominic. This one dries up. I feel like pencil eyeliner dries up, so I'm just gonna warm it up by just drawing some on the back of my hand. And now I'm just gonna tight line. This is like a super old L'Oreal. It's like the liner brush that comes with the pot. And this is the said pot. I'm going to give myself a tiny wing. I can't talk when I'm doing eyeliner or breathe. Now I'm going to prime my face. This is my second bottle of this primer. I don't know if it's doing anything for me. I just use it because I have it. And I'm just glad it's finishing so I can move on. This is what it looks like. I always start with the inside of my face and then I put it up because I don't need much on my forehead now. I really need to wait for this eyeliner to like dry because it transfers up here like a cut crease. This is the foundation I mentioned earlier that it oxidized, so I'm gonna try it out. I might just use the back of my Anastasia and Emery Z highlighter. That's what I use sometimes. So if you look at this, I'm gonna leave it here. Right now it's like a good shade. We'll give it like 10 seconds and you're gonna see how it oxidizes. Actually, I'm gonna grab this like slanted flat concealer brush from BH. You see? oxidized tremendously. The thing is, I already bought one that's tanner. But you see how this is lighter than this? Argan oil to dilute this stuff. Maybe make it a little lighter. And this is my um, lightning drop. Maybe it'll oxidize to my skin color. Who knows? The pipette, it, this is so weird. It comes out as bubbles. And then it drops. Which is like, really weird. Here we go. This is um, my liquid highlighter. Added it to the mixture. So much lighter. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that for a second. This is my damp sponge. I'm gonna start down here first. Try to blend out the dried shit. It's definitely quite better. Let's see if it like oxidizes. Yeah, this is perfect. Thank God for that lining drop. Get a little more, especially down here. I'm gonna like kinda make it equal. I wouldn't even like go in with like another coat because I don't I don't need the coverage. I think this foundation is like sheer to medium many ways. And I also feel like even though this is supposed to be a dewy foundation, it actually makes my skin look really dry, including my clients. So far, so good. So matching. Do the look it's matching? Yeah, I'm wearing white while doing makeup. I do it all the time because I live life on the edge. Dragging it down the jawline and then we'll really see if it's like a good match after mixing. Cool! Alright, now for concealer. It's the Julep Cushion Complexion. It's the perfect amount of lightness and yellowness, I would say. I do this to lift my lips up. Same sponge. Normally I would go in with the oil again, but I feel like when I did that on my client, it kind of really diluted the concealer and then there was no point because I was really trying to lighten up the foundation with the concealer so I'm gonna keep it just damp like it's almost dry damp because I left it out for a bit now I'm gonna go with cream liquid highlighter this is a stick highlighter this is Tarte's spotlight I'm gonna go in with my fingers just to warm it up a little bit. Get super creamy. I've learned not to just like drag things across because it could really disrupt the foundation and the base. You can always go over it again with powder highlight and make it really bling. So I've been using this one, Real Techniques, Jane Aradale. 
And then over the eyebrows, so it makes the application a little easier. Eyebrows! I'm gonna skip this part, so. See ya. I'm back with uneven eyebrows, as per usual. I'm gonna finish off the eyes. So, it is a little too yellow for me. So I got this Bad Habit highlighting palette. Remove that sheet. I might go a little bubbly, because I think it's gonna translate lighter than it seems. This is like a crease blending brush. It's definitely adding a pop, which is nice. I will, however, I'm gonna go in with the white right here and add that to my inner corner. It's kind of iridescent. It has like purple reflexes. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like it has like another type of white reflex in there. Kind of like it. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna go back in with the NARS Laguna. What is it? Tahiti Bronzer Laguna. That's the exact order. I'm not saying it wrong. I'm gonna use this smudge brush, NARS. Now I'm gonna go in with the sun back into the trio. I'm gonna go into their their dark brown. It's pretty cool tone. It's almost like maroonish. I'm gonna go in with the same brush because who cares? I'm gonna only do this in the outer part. And connect it to the eyeliner and go back in with the NARS bronzer. I'm gonna use the brush that comes with it and I'm gonna bronze tour a term I haven't used in a while. Very light handed into the hairline as Wayne Goss have taught us. Stop halfway between your eyeballs or else your face will look stupid funky. And I always do it right here to really chisel out my chin as well when I do the jawline. Blend it into the neck. It creates this like dimple look, if you guys can see that. I'm gonna go in with my usual contouring, nose contouring brush. I used to do it a little differently. And I found out this is actually better for my nose shape. I'm going to take some of the Jane Arundel press powder with this Tarte brush and just kind of go over harsh lines. Going in with this BH Cosmetics blush. Oh, I don't know, is this number 114? This is Pinch Me by Ciate London. Light coral pink. Has flecks of gold, as all Ciate London blushes do. I've learned to love these type of brushes for applying blush now. It's like, see, it's pretty light. Natural, but... You can, you still know it's there. And, and now for the lips. This is Sore. It's pretty pink. I think Sore is such a good color. It's coming off really dark on camera. This is like kind of the same. So we're gonna go with this. I don't care. This is Send News by Lena Lashes. Yeah. This at Sora is a great combination. Morphe. So I'm gonna go with this Amira Pure Highlighter in Dolce. It's like loose, so I can't pick it up. I have some on the lid, so. It's not really that golden. It's pretty peachy bronze. It kind of just enhances the natural lighting on your face, and it's not an obvious highlight. And now, the mascara. L'Oreal Telescopic Black Brown. It really lengthens your lashes. Not really um, volumizes, but definitely lengthens. And now for the bottom lashes, my non-existent lower lash mascara. This is probably not the best haircut for a bridal look, but here we are. Um, so this is the final look, you guys, that I would do for a bride. My eyes just look really dark because of the bangs, but once I lift it up, it's like not that crazy. Hope you guys liked it. I know this was like a super lazy, super casual, weird video.